So even though this is a movie that I didn't actively dislike, it still made me think multiple times throughout this that we're long overdue for another movie in the realms of the Cornetto trilogy. Like, it's been long enough, right? Come on, someone peg Nick Frost, let's do this. Starring, amongst others, Asa Butterfield, Finn Cole, Hermione Caulfield, Martin Sheen, Simon Pegg and Nick Frost. Directed by Crispian Mills off of a screenplay he wrote alongside Henry Fitzherbert. This is my review for Slaughterhouse Rules. So Slaughterhouse Rules takes place at a boarding school called Slaughterhouse and features Finn Cole's character Don, or Donnie, or Ducky, as he gets called throughout this, uh, turning up at the school, not overly wanting to go there, and struggling to fit in. All while this is going on, there's some fracking going on. Um, it, I, by the way, fracking is one of those things that I really had to look up what it actually meant, because I hear it on the news all the time, but I never actually looked into what it is, and yeah, stop fracking, people. Um, but there's some fracking going on, and that fracking is about to unleash some creatures that have never been seen before, and they have a tendency to rip humans apart limb from limb. So Slaughterhouse Rules is a movie that I wasn't overly sure what to think of going in. Like, I was excited by the fact it had Simon Pegg and Nick Frost together on the screen again, and even though I mentioned the Cornetto trilogy, I don't think we're going to get something of that higher quality just because these two are on screen together, but then Paul wasn't a Cornetto movie either. And I really, really enjoyed that. It was very, very funny. So I did have high expectations for this, and I was trying to temper them. I was trying to kind of set the bar a little bit low, because there'd been no reviews out for this, really, at all before it came out. And that's never a good sign. And I can kind of see why. As I, say, I don't dislike this film. It just seems like a movie that's very unfocused. Like, it doesn't really know what it wants to be. It maintains the same kind of tone throughout, but that tone, unfortunately, isn't a very engaging one. It's a horror comedy that's not overly scary, it's not overly funny, and it suffers from some real pacing issues. Um, a lot of this drags. A lot of this drags on a lot, actually. And it's a strange one, because it starts slow, um, and then it picks up a little bit, but then it goes slow again, and then we get into the last act, and it feels like, right, okay, now we're going to get the carnage that we're wanting. Now we're going to see some crazy stuff happening. And we do get a little bit of that, but then again, the pace grinds to a halt again. So it's a very, very weird film in that regard. Just when you think, finally, they're going to sort of put their foot down and things are going to get moving, they kind of take the foot off again just as quickly. And it does this a lot throughout the film. It's very much kind of like this the whole way through. It feels to me like a movie that needed to pick which one it's going to be. Like, it wasn't capable by the, scene, by the look of it of being a horror comedy, although there are some funny moments in, just not that many. And again, there are a few jumpy moments, but not that many. But I feel it would have been so much better if it had just gone full-on horror or full-on comedy. Just picked one of those things and really made that the focus. And it is a shame because there's a lot in this to like, actually, particularly when it comes to the cast. Um, Simon Pegg is great in this one. Um, he's in a relationship with Margot Robbie, but he doesn't get to act with her on screen. So, uh, yeah, you can imagine how annoyed Simon Pegg must be about that one. Um, but Nick Frost is great as well. Martin Sheen is hilarious in this one. And I like some of the core cast of the kids as well. Asa Butterfield, like his character actually has some depth in this one. I was surprised that they didn't just make everybody generic. Quite a few of them are, but his character in particular, there's more to him. There's layers, there's a mystery that we find out as it goes on. And the resolve of that is actually fairly touching. So that surprised me. Uh, Finn Cole is really good. Like he's solid in this one. He's very much the fish out of water at this school. He doesn't feel like he belongs there. And to be fair, he probably doesn't, but he kind of earns his place as he goes along. But yeah, solid performance by him. Hermione Caulfield is great as well. Really, really enjoyed her on this. But everybody else kind of feels a bit generic and bland. There's a villainous character that just seems so over the top that you can't really take him seriously. And again, that's one of the tone things with this movie is it does things like that while at the same time having characters like Asa Butterfield's character who's very, very nuanced. So having these two sort of characters in the same film, it feels too much of a contrast. Um, but yeah, performance-wise, I can't really fault anybody, but a lot of the characters just don't really come to life, apart from the kid-wise, those three that are singled out, because they're really, really good. And when this does get into the action, like it's a great deal of fun. It doesn't last all that long, sadly, but there's some great carnage in this one. There's some great limbs being torn off, and it's fun. There's some disgusting moments, there's some creepy moments, but just not enough of them. As I say, when we got to that third act, and it, it was building up, and it was like, right, okay, here we go. It didn't last all that long at all. It moved on to something else, and it's just a shame, because after sitting through how long it took us to get to that point, it kind of felt like the audience was owed it. Like, we were there on Halloween night to watch this. We were owed some 
pure horror of violence and yeah we only got sort of touches of it we didn't get anywhere near as much as we should have done for a film that's called slaughterhouse rules needed to be a little bit more slaughter i think but as i say it's not a movie that i didn't enjoy it's not a movie that i actively dislike um there are several moments of it several key elements that i did really enjoy and the good bits in it are just good enough to pull it above being an average film so it's, it's an average to good kind of movie i'm going to give slaughterhouse rules a six out of ten have you seen slaughterhouse rules if so let me know what you think about it in the comments below a look out for more reviews coming soon there's quite a few coming out nutcracker overlord Widows as well is on the way. So yeah, quite a few movies to review over the next sort of seven days. A lot of reviewing. Uh, do hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more of them. And also follow me on Twitter. Why not? My name's at Joe Julian's on there. Also my name on Stardust. And here's a tough question for you. Cornetto Trilogy. What's your favourite one? Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz or World's End? Shaun of the Dead for me like by quite a long way. But yeah, let me know yours too. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope you had a great Halloween and I'll see you on the next video.